Like I have always said on this YouTube channel that Finland is the new Canada in Europe, but a lot of people look like they don't understand what I'm talking about. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about a university in Finland, which is open for application, all right? So if you're an international student looking for study abroad opportunities, then I would say that it is good to take Finland. The reason is because Finland, when it comes to the proof of funds, after payment of tuition fee, proof of funds is not going to stress you in the sense that you need the money to put in your own personal bank account. And the money is close to like 4 million. That is 6,000 euros, 6,720 euros, all right? So if you look at this very well and look at the other possibility of getting a sponsor, I think it may be difficult to get a sponsor or sponsorship letters or bank statement but if the account is yours, you just go to your bank and tell them to print it. That is what Finland is looking at. Now, this video, I'm going to be talking about the programs available in this particular university. I will talk about the tuition fee. I will talk about uh, the scholarships. And I will talk about how you are going to apply for it. And I will equally talk about the visa application in case you get an admissions letter from this particular university. Guys, before I even continue, if you didn't know, my name is Milton Fonkwa. Welcome to our YouTube channel and Happy New Year if you are just joining. Thank you so much for joining. So before I continue with the video, I want to bring you some quick reviews or some important things you need to know about Finland. First, Finland is the easiest country now in Europe let me say within the main europe all right with the easiest pathway to permanent residency that is what you should know now there is a lot of labor shortage in finland and they are equally looking for a lot of nurses that is another thing you should know work hours have increased especially for students now students are able to work 30 hours a week that is another thing you should know then there is also a greater chance to get employment when you graduate from any finnish university and of course there is a possibility of you getting a continuous residence permit before you could apply for a permit and when it expires you renew in finland but now you can easily get a type a residence permit to study in finland which is a continuous permit if your program is three years three and a half years the embassy can quickly give you such a permit that is the advantage of finland now now without said let's go straight into this university and what is the name of the university i'm going to be talking about it is called diak d-i-a-k which is diaconia university of applied sciences this is one of the applied science universities i have been talking about on this youtube channel so if you are just joining the channel please check a list of all our videos all right go through our channel and see what videos we have and what are the things we are saying in them so that is something you should know now at Diaconia university of applied sciences the tuition fee is four thousand euros for social science courses all right that is something you should understand i want to draw your attention to the fact that most of these social services is not social science but rather social service courses most of these courses all right they don't need a lot of students especially at applied science universities now a problem a program like the social service course is 40 students that are needed for that particular program and the tuition fee is 4000 euros and another program like the healthcare management or the healthcare which is related to nursing the tuition fee is 5000 euros and they are looking for 25 students remember that when it comes to scholarship all right only the social service courses have something related to scholarships but the nursing programs don't have scholarships scholarships will be available for the rest of the years all right but at the beginning you may not have a scholarship so that is another thing you should put into consideration but the tuition fee is going to be five thousand euros and this scholarship i talked about may be in the form of maybe how many ects credit units you have or what have you achieved so far when you arrive in finland and stuff like that now let's take a look at the programs available at this university diaconia university of applied sciences at diaconia university there are two bachelor's degree programs taught in class and of course there are two master's degree programs that are online and which are not currently open for the bachelor's degree programs you can go to studyinfo.fee to get the application done not the university way out all right so now the two programs for bachelor's degree include social services bachelor's in social services and of course healthcare management or healthcare programs these are the two programs and you need to understand that the healthcare program is the nursing i'm talking about and if you want to do nursing 
at the Akonia University of Applied Sciences, you need to understand that they need the Finnish language. That is something you should know. Now, the master's degree programs, which I said are online and they are not currently open for now, they include global change and community development. And of course, they equally, there is another one called people centered and innovative leadership in health services. So, all these programs like this are all found in universities in Finland. I want to tell you that if you go directly to the joint application, you may not have all the necessary information you need. Rather, you should go university by university to understand what they are writing on their website. Because if you go through their uh, through the university application, it may not be functionable. All right, it may not be favorable. Sorry. So that is what I think. Now we have talked about this. I have equally talked about the scholarship. How are you going to apply to Diakonia University of Applied Sciences? Applying to every school in Finland is, of course, going through the uh, 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 study info dot fee all right but sometimes you, it is also possible to apply to individual websites of a particular university which is something that is common nowadays and for you to apply like i said you have to go to study info dot fee fill the forms all right before you continue with the other processes now when you have finished with everything you need to understand that after the application you need to apply for a student visa i want to draw your attention to the fact that you are let me say you are a parent and you intend to migrate to Finland. Do not say, no, I didn't apply. My daughter didn't apply. If you applied for a study permit or if you applied for a position in a university, then you get the admissions. Of course, you and your family, your husband, and your kids can move, all right? can move to very easily to Finland. Before, it used to be only UK. Before, it used to be only Canada. But now, it is very, very possible to migrate to Finland with your spouse. I have elaborated more. I talked about all of this in other videos where I break down the tuition fee that you need, all right, the money that you need in terms of the bank statement. And I will elaborate again. Probably you haven't watched the video, all right? Now, if you want to apply for a study visa at the Finnish embassy and you are married, remember they have to legalize your marriage certificate all right and again the second thing is that you need to understand that this is now as you apply to this university in finland let me draw your attention to the fact that application is going to be done on studyinfo.fi now the application deadline is on the 18th of january and when are results going to be out results are going to be out only after everybody has been selected first after 18 of January, there is going to be an online exam again, all right, in February, around the 8th of February. Now, after the first online exam, there is also going to be a group interview after um, the February, which is going to come in around March 18. Then that is where you have to start receiving admissions offers. Some universities may not give you an interview. It is very normal, like some schools in the Czech Republic, if you are lucky, they may not give you an interview but if you are not lucky then they will give you an interview then another thing now is as soon as you get the letter what do you do you have to confirm your position that you are going to study in this university all right you have to confirm your position then when you confirm your position the next thing you have to do is to pay your tuition fee so make sure before you even apply now you are looking for money all right in case you get accepted you are just going to pay your tuition fee as early as possible so that you get the early bed scholarship all right it is going to help you a lot a lot of people make such mistakes but it is going to help you if you follow what i'm telling you now remember after the early bed uh payment or after you pay your first deposit that is only when you are going to apply for the study permit or the residence permit and for you to apply for the residence permit all right, you still need documents. If you are married, for example, you want to move your spouse, you need to legalize your documents, all right, your educational certificate, maybe up to the point of uh, your bachelor's degree or maybe your master's degree. Legalize all of them. Then before you go, go to apply for this particular visa. Now, remember the visa you are going to be applying to is like more or less like uh, a national visa, but it is not. All right. It is going to be in a form of a long stay visa because especially if you are going in for PhD, your wife has to join you. But just understand that it is going to be a long stay visa. And this visa is going to promote a lot of people. Now, let me tell you, 
how is the visa going to promote a lot of people for example if you get the visa as you, your husband is applying to go to school you want to apply as the wife to accompany him now the visa is you as the wife you are going to be working more hours than your husband because your husband who is a student is going to work only 30 hours but you can work on limited hours the other people now that will benefit from you are your children all right so because it is also possible to move with your children from nigeria to uh, any country in europe it is also very possible so please plan yourself well plan your budget well so that you understand what you are doing at, at what time it is very important time frame is very very important so these are some of the things you need to know and please make sure you subscribe to our channel and support the movement and remember you are not applying for the visa without the medical insurance it is a very important aspect of the visa application till we meet again in another one